I hope you had a good time coming up with your idea and then making a plan for your idea that will make a terrific artwork. So if you've got your plan, I'm ready to show you how to make it bigger on your good paper. You'll need your plan and you'll need a blank piece of paper that is eight and a half by 11 inches. That's just standard paper that you might use in your computer printer. If you have heavier paper, you might enjoy working on that, but this paper works really well too. So here's what I'm going to do. You can do this in pencil. I'm going to do this with a red pen just so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to my plan and I'm about halfway I'm going to put a little mark. If you are a younger student, you might like a parent to help you with that. And then I'm going to make a line straight across my plan. And now I'm going to do the same thing the other direction. I'm making a mark in the middle and a mark in the middle, and now I'm going to join them. We've got four equal pieces now. And what an artist will do is they'll put the marks on this paper also. So let me do that. I don't wanna do that in pencil, or excuse me, I don't wanna do that in pen. I want to use a pencil for that, and I want to draw as lightly as possible. You don't want this to show in the final artwork. It gets erased. So here I go, and I'm having a hard time seeing on this placement, so I'm gonna put the pencil down, the paper on the table, and very lightly, I bet you can't even hardly see it in the video because it is so light and I will join those marks in a minute and then I'm going to put in the middle a mark here and here and now I don't want to write on my good wood table so I'm going to pull this placemat back down and I'm going to join those marks so that I have the same kind of cross right in the middle of my paper. And here we go. Whoops, I think I went up there. Let me come down a little bit. Okay, so it's not exact, but it's it's a pretty good, can you see it? It's really, really light, okay? You want it really light. Again, younger students, it might help if your parent helped you with that part just to keep it really light. Now what we're going to do, because this rectangle is similar to this rectangle, I can draw just what's in this box and keep it about the same size. Do I have to do that? No, but artists have found that people tend to draw things smaller if they don't think about proportion. That's a big word that means that if it's smaller here, it's smaller here. If it's bigger here, it's bigger here. And so we keep it, we say we keep it in proportion. So for example, I can tell that this line for the country is about here on the paper. And then it curves and it comes over towards this side. And I'm gonna stop right there. I see my eagle here and his wing goes well all the way across that line. Do you see how this is helping me to be sure I get things the same size because I already know that this plan works. I don't want to change it on my big paper and then be afraid it doesn't work. Do you see that I'm not putting any more detail in this than I put in this and I'm not looking at a reference picture yet, okay? I'll look at the reference pictures later after I get everything the size that it needs to be on my paper. Details come later. First, we've got to get the size. So let's see. In this box, I'm looking at each box as I draw. There's that W there where the Great Lakes are. And then going up to the state of Maine and coming down the East Coast to Florida. And then my banner, look, my banner goes over that center line. So I'm gonna start there and do it over the center line. Wow, it comes way over here and goes all the way over. 
and then it comes down. And this side comes down. And so do you see that even my banner is pretty much in the same place because I used my grid lines to see how far down does it go, how far up does it go compared to the grid. And we're gonna pull it down. And now that's all there is to it. That's my sketch. I'm ready to get my reference pictures and start drawing. Oh, I forgot my letters. I've got to put my letters in and then I will get my reference picture and I'll start drawing my beautiful eagle and make my letters really nice. I'll start making sure that where the country curves in, it doesn't have to be exact, but I'll get the country to be a little more precise. And I'll get back with you in the next video about some tips on adding color.